instrument is commonly known as a bazooki. Unless you're going through security in an airport, and then you don't want to say bazooki or anything like that. Then you say it's an octave mandolin, or a banjo, or fucking anything. Just don't say bazooki. instruments. This version of it comes more by way of Ireland because they don't play anything that washes up on their shores. They play it better than the people who invented it. That's where I picked the habit up. But uh, this song, uh, at the end of my street in New York City, there's a, there's a deli and the whole concept of an East Coast deli was a revelation for a Southern boy moving to New York City late in middle age. And, I didn't know, I mean, you can get a sandwich there, but what it mainly is is a convenience store on steroids. It's open 24 hours a day. And the New York City version has like fresh produce. In fact, a lot of what I eat comes from the one at the end of my street. Yeah. Flowers! You can get fresh flowers 24 hours a day, which is like, I mean, as much as I fuck up, that's just huge. That's like, deli at the end of my street's name is Mr. Kim. Now my neighborhood was probably originally an Italian neighborhood and probably an Italian family owned this, this store at one time. But Mr. Kim uh, was born in Korea and he speaks Korean which impresses the fuck out of me because it sounds like a tough language to me. He also speaks English better than I do. And, uh, his children speak English better than both of us. Some of them work in the store. And, uh, he's a little older than I am, is my guess. And what impresses me the most about Mr. Kim is, late in middle age, he decided that he needed to learn a third language. And he learned from scratch a third language because of changes in New York City and changes in his business. He found it necessary to learn to speak Spanish. And now he speaks that language after five or six years fluently and beautifully. Now, I come from San Antonio, Texas. I literally grew up in occupied Mexico. And my Spanish is like I can order from a menu, and I can shop, and I know when to fucking run, and that's about it. So, which is really embarrassing. And it's, uh, so this is, uh, with all this ugly talk, about immigration that I've been hearing, um, I don't, uh, to me, Mr. Kim and his family kind of are the American dream, and this is for him. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sit in the blind.